Hi, it's Susie from Nail Career Education and I love the French technique. The design is beautiful to me. I'm going to start a series of them in acrylic and gel and everything I can think of that's French. We're going to start today with gel polish. The French technique is commonly most thought of with the white on the end. White acrylic, white paint, white gel paint. But a lot of time people forget about the nail beds too. You don't want the nail beds to be ugly or sometimes clear acrylic can make it look bubbly. So I always like to put a color on the nail bed to just sort of soften the look and make it so look kind of pink and natural. So I've chosen Delicate by Gelavish and it's a very pretty pink based gel color and you'll see why. What's nice about it, you see when it goes on, it sort of gives a nice soft creamy skin tone color kind of a new tone to the nail bed. I'm going to paint that on the entire nail and do all fingers and then we're going to cure it in the machine. So just put a nice even coat on the nail plate. Then we're going to cure it in the machine. If it's an LED, you cure it for 60 seconds. And if it's a UV, three minutes. Once you cure the nail bed with your kind of nude color on top, this is when this comes into play. There's a few tips you can do to make that French perfect. Some styles will be just maybe the tip. Just a little bit of the tip. Some are straight across. Not so much of a fan of that one. <laughs> Some, the one I like, are very strong smile lines. That's the one that I like. They're just harder to do and they take more precision. Now before you nuke it, this is the trick you want to do. You get some remover or alcohol. So you can take a gel brush or a paint brush or anything like that and dip it into your acetone remover, whatever you're using. I like these little lint-free pads when you're working through uh, a gel, particularly. These ones leave a bit of a cotton hair. Mmm, very frustrating. So get the lint-free pad. So then just dip in and you can remove the excess around the finger with your brush. Here's the great part. You've cured the base coat. You just need to now crisp up this line. Take your brush and do just that. Just crisp up that line. You can spend all day you want just crisping up this line. And you can take your time doing it. There's even different ways you could do it. Like you could do a chevron. You could go right into the point here. Right in there. And you can come right back down this side and then clean up this point. That would be your chevron. They also call, if you take away, like, let's so say you wanted to make a design, you could, you could literally... This looks kind of cool. <laughs> Getting off topic, but this is kind of fun. They call this negative space, actually, where you actually take away and create designs by taking away. And the way you can keep that design, it's as soon as you went under the light. But we're not going to keep that design. <laughs> we're working on having the French. So I'm just going to take this off. I've got a little sidetracked there, which is kind of cool. I like that. So again, just paint on the type of French that you want. I like a very strong smile line. 
go up one side, go down the other side. And just a little tip for you, the best Frenches in the world are where the points on either side meet. So I'll point with the brush here, where this point on the side meets this other point on the side, right there. When, those, when you could draw a line across the nail and those two match, that's really perfect. They look for that in competitions. That, that looks good. So I'm just gonna darken the French line up a bit. You can put more on it, you can nuke it and do a second coat. Cure it is the proper term. Okay, so I'm gonna just crisp up this line. Nice and pointy in there. So I'm gonna grab the gel polish, and then I'm gonna get this dotting tool, really tiny tip on the dotting tool. You take the tip, and you get a bunch of it on the tip of this dotting tool. And you can actually use the dotting tool, making a crisp line as well. These can be really good for toes too. When you're doing a toe, you're looking for sometimes just a super small, tiny, fine line so it can be really good for toes. A tip for toes too. I will sometimes keep the toenail long or longer and then I will paint the French line on a toe. Once I've cured it and everything, then you can clip it or file it. And it gives a nice tiny, just a tiny little sliver of a French line on the toe, which can be really, really cute because you don't want a big French line on a toe. And I will get the light. Sometimes I'll just cure it, just like a five, 10 second flash cure in between, just to hold that gel right in spot so it doesn't move whatsoever. Sometimes gel will shift a little. But if you do this, it'll just hold it and you can continue to do the other fingers. But you still have to give the whole thing about a 67 cure if it's an LED or a two, three minute cure if it's a UV. Again, I'm just giving it about a 10 second flash cure. One more finger to go. Keep going until you perfect it and then give it your full 60 seconds in an LED and about three minutes in the UV light and then we can top coat it. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and we'll go from there. So I painted the white on and I perfected it as much as I can. And now I'm gonna to top coat it with a clear gel glaze that helps smooth it over a bit too. So paint the nice clear glaze over top of that. Do all your fingers. And then we're gonna cure this for about 90 seconds in an LED three minutes in a UV. I always do the thumb last, just before it goes in the machine, because if it's sitting on its side, as you're doing all the other four fingers, that gel does move in spite of what they say. It will move a little and it can settle in the side of the wall of the nail, and it, ugh. And you don't want that because it'll end up settling in the side wall of the thumbnail and it can actually be a little bit um, like a gathering of it, like you made it too thick. And you don't want to have it gather like that. So always do the thumb last. 
Well, these turned out great. A French white with just the pure gel polish on the end and the delicate as the base coat. It's very pretty. Check out the reveal pictures. I love those reveal pictures. They look gorgeous. So for another look, I'm just gonna paint the same base coat that we put on the nail plate over the whole thing again, just to soften that French. Some people like that. And it just gives it a bit of a softer look. Some clients prefer that. Some don't like the super white. Just cure this one more time. Well, that was great. That's beautiful. I love that. For a secondary look, that's really pretty. Let's check out the reveal pictures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you soon.